This episode of The Modern Road brought to you by your childhood and the perfect Saturday morning, courtesy of Saturday Morning Cartoons and our friends at Magic Spoon. Head on over to magicspoon.com slash robe. They're delicious. I They're put my up hand up. upon her toe, yo ho, yo ho. <laughs> I put my hand upon her toe, yo ho, yo ho. I put my hand upon her toe, she said, Yankee, you're going too slow. Get in, get out, quick about yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Bum, Is it you ho, bum, you ho, you ho? Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> I put my hand upon her knee, yo ho, yo ho. I put my hand upon her knee, yo ho. I put is, my hand is this upon an her knee. Toast? She said, Yankee, you're killing me. Get in, get out, quit about yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. Dum, dum. All right, we need some beverages first. Yeah, uh, you I guess hold if this. We get a toast. Wait, listen for the sound. Mmm. Do we have to have a thing that we're toasting for? Well, 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 but patience, young Okay, Padawan. okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. Don't skip ahead. Yeah, 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 all right. You need something in your glass, because right yeah. now, it's my birthday. Is it really? really? No, it's not actually. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> why why actually, did you let us make you work on your birthday? I know. Toast. <laughs> but, but Brushwood, you have to give me a birthday toast. <clears throat> oh. Here's to one of the finest people I've known on this planet who gets to celebrate another ring around the sun. Somebody who I hope is here long after I'm dead. Let's hear it for Daniel. Ah, damn, that was good. I was hoping you'd it up. Cheers. I was hoping I'd be the one mm -hmm. here after he was dead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you hit already two of the tenants that I'm gonna be see, talking see, I about. I didn't even know what the tenants I know, is. I know. I, 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 if we're talking the inside game, it was basically make it sincere, give it room to breathe. Keep and it short. And, yep, 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 yeah. exactly. Okay, now I'm retiring from Wizard Academy. Oh, oh God, I didn't know it's today yeah, your last yeah, today, day. Yeah, yeah, today's my last day. Oh. And uh, it's your job to give me a like, this is my final dinner toast. <laughs> Daniel, as the steward of Wizard Academy, you have brought this treasured institution to new heights. I accept the mantle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you guys are good at thinking on your feet. Oh. Okay, we need the third person here for the train wreck toast, because obviously you guys just, like, this yeah, is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it's fine, Corey, we'll Corey, on. Corey, Corey. All right, your very best toast, <laughs> oh. go for it. Uh, what am I toasting for? Um, America. I was just born. You were just born? Yeah. C congratulations. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty, that's pretty good, that's bad. Pretty yeah. bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what I think about toast. This is opinion. I'm not a toast scientist. I'm not even a toast master. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's too right. expensive. That, that's, oh, that's, that's, right. that's a very yeah. good toast master. Yeah. That's yeah. a thing, right? Now remember, like, this is public speaking, so this is up there before death for a lot of people. Right, right. People would rather be dead than public speaking yeah, in a lot of, a lot of examples. Are terrified of it. And toasts are even worse because you gotta be pithy and, and short and sweet and make people cry and ah, there's too many things, right? So what's the point of a toast? It is a ritual, I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, it is a ritual to bring us all together for one moment. Yes. That's the first thing. It marks either a moment or a person. Okay, yes, yes. Right? Okay. Or preferably both. Yeah. So it's about marking the uh, person and the thing that they have right. done, accomplished. So, right. Yeah. Now, sometimes a person's not needed. Imagine if it's the entire Modern Rogue crew and something amazing has happened. A toast at that moment is just a toast of the moment. Hey guys, we did it. Right. Right? And there is sort of a person because it's about us and we've arrived but it's really marking the occasion. People are very bad at remembering to mark the occasion. I'm suddenly like seeing the the code of the matrix here where yeah. it's like when you're giving a toast about somebody else, like a eulogy, make it about the subject, not about right. yourself. Yes, so that's important. There's some, what's more important than the dues because they can be done in all of the ways and still be amazing. Even congratulations can be funny. Right. Right. It's more important the don'ts. It's not about you and uh, <laughs> Keep it short, right? Right. Mm. Don't get distracted with long anecdotes that have no real tangential connection. There's a lot of like flubs. Now, I came down with three because if you really search, 
you'll find here's your top 12 things with the toast and here's your the seven best ways to do a toast. But what happens when you try to remember the 14 things you're supposed to do for a magic trick? Uh, no, you don't. Right. right. Yeah. But remembering the three things you must not do is yeah. very easy. Yeah, don't do those things. So what I would say is all toasts, no matter the occasion, no matter what's going on, keep it short. Yeah. It's not about you. Yeah. And if you can't be funny, be vulnerable. Oh, so that's, that okay. was the game I was playing with opening up my heart and being yeah. sincere or whatever. If you can be funny. Correct. Then be funny, because that magical moment is if you can be funny and vulnerable. And keep it short. And I, if you do that, by the way, do it in that order. Be funny, get everyone's guard down, then unexpectedly vulnerable. It's a whole other ball game. Okay, see, I screw up every toast. I toasted at my brother's wedding. And Why? I started off with, how are you not dead? <laughs> No, really. He drank turpentine when he was three. Yeah. And I didn't bring it back around to be invulnerable. It was just, just a roast. Of, it was just a roast. And then you end and you're like, so there. And you <laughs> yeah. Step on your own glass. Dumbass. <laughs> Love you. Yeah. Oh, God. No. No, you can get a little bit, uh, you know, roasty, for lack of a better term. But it, it's got to be in the kind of way that makes people just go, ah. You know what I mean? Right. Like a straight up roast, that's not comfortable for anyone, except for maybe if you have a certain kind of friendship and you are both thinking it's hilarious and you know the other 300 people there are like, oh my God, <laughs> right? And that makes it more fun for you. Th that's the other thing is remember there's two different audiences. There's the person that ostensibly you're speaking to. Yes. You're also speaking to everybody in the room. And yes, this one very deep cut inside joke may be mildly funny between the two of you, but it is not making anybody else's day brighter. Yeah, there's a really short one because it, where are you going to do toast? You're going to do it at weddings. You're going to do it at special occasions like a birthday. Successes, or, anniversaries. Yeah, or it could just be a hangout session with people I've been seen in a long time, hanging around. It could be in backyard fire pit uh, with people you haven't seen in years. Sure. And someone's going to want to go because what's the point of a toast? You know what, guys? It's really good to see you again, right? Yeah, Some yeah. version of like, we're just marking this moment and this occasion. So ironically, <laughs> I had two examples. You both already did them. Oh, uh, do you wanna hear mine? Yes, okay. but, but first I could anyway. do a bad <laughs> toast. It usually oh, starts with- I wanna uh, see with, the bad toast. Yeah, yeah. This is a bad toast in the book of Brian Brushwood. Uh, I mean, there's just so much. I think I was eight. Actually, I just realized what I'm doing is Colin Robinson. Just do Colin <laughs> Robinson and try to absorb the conversation. Bring out, <laughs> reminds me of the time when I had a yo-yo that wasn't. <laughs> so the way you solve awkward is just by being vulnerable, right? Yes. If you really are awkward, don't try to deliver the thing because in a toast, a vulnerability is, is the best. When someone gets up and they're like, guys, I'm really nervous. <sighs> Brian takes his I don't pants know, off when he's You know, nervous. like that toast, that was amazing. I don't know how you followed that one. The only reason I'm, I'm here is because I love these two people and I'm glad that this is happening. Right, and right. I'm sorry I'm not better at this. Lean into being right. overwhelmed and just embrace the, go right for the heart. Right. It Absolutely. has always served me well in a public environment to begin with a flat out press release of, I am not very good at what you're about to see, but it will be over in 60 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> That's all anyone wants to hear. That's what he told it's, Bonnie it's, on their it's, wedding it's, night. Yeah. Yay! Oh, oh there, there it is, man. Was, that was the toast and was end right, of episode. It was right there, yakety schmackety. <laughs> because what you, you did there is a couple of things, <laughs> address and dismiss. Right. Right, which we, we talk about all the time in public speaking at Wizard Academy, which is if something is sort of the, the elephant in the room, the fastest way to get rid of it is to bring it up and then dismiss it instantly and then never mention it again. If you show up and you've, I mean, I've heard this is from someone I've, that's done this. You have a massive stain on your shirt because during the meal while you're listening to other people's speeches, you got mustard down across your suit. You got no way to change. You stand up and the first thing you do, because now you're freaking out. First thing you do is like, look, this mustard. Yeah, that thing you all ate, so did I. Well. <laughs> Most of it. <laughs> so, but I don't have a change of clothes because this is a wedding. But that, yeah. yeah so, you, you I figured this was preferable to, you know, Own shirtless. It. Own it, lean into it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, and then no one ever mentions it again. And the other thing you did is 
give a destination so everyone can have expectations and then you can then deliver on. Now, do you have like toast prepared? Like I got three ready, one for any type of occasion. I do. Only one of them is an actual toast and I'm gonna end with it yep. so you can see what that one is. Okay. Because it's a very famous one and a lot of people know it. And it's one of those things like a really good joke or it's like, have you had that feeling when you have a movie you love and you're getting to watch it with someone who hasn't seen it at all? And you spend and half the time going yeah, like theoretically this. Theoretically you're watching the movie, <laughs> yeah. but really yeah. you're, you're doing this. So yeah. a really good toast that's not just petty, if someone knows it, they're going like, oh yeah, I like, yes, I remember this one. Right. right. And so that's fine for memorized toasts. The other two are a little too freeform because it depends on the person and you need to have some personal moments in there. And so I have more of a category of those. So short form is one uh, like this. Murphy, you're turning 40. I was pretty sure neither of us was gonna make it this far. But I've gotta say, now that we're here, it's better than I expected, and I'm grateful for you. Cheers. Oh, oh that's that, good. That, that surprise. Especially the Murphy turning the 40 end. part. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was the happiest like, oh. part. Yeah. Now, does that make sense? So what did we do there? That's just a, a quick, hey, this is for you. I don't give a shit about anyone else in this room. Right. I'm talking directly to you. Everyone else gets to benefit from that toast. So that removes for me the pressure of like, all right, everyone, let's talk about Murphy here. This guy, and now you're in third person. Right. 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 So one I've found straight shot to intimacy and vulnerability is to start a one-way conversation and be honest and let everyone else listen in. It's less script, it's more sincerity. Right, right, so basically just let someone else listen in on your private conversation. So depending on the situation, I can see, like I think in, in performance terms, like, it, like if we're all here in a group, right now we're just having a conversation. If I wanna make it a toast, I'll be like, guys, 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 yeah, guys, guys, all guys, of us. guys, guys, guys. Everyone. One day, you will hear the story of how we formed one robotic super soldier and saved the planet. <laughs> Tonight will not be that night. <laughs> but let's hear it for two of my favorite uh, robot owls. Yeah. There we go. Robots. Warriors in disguise. <laughs> <laughs> Better than lawyers in disguise. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so, oh, but you see what you did there was bring everyone together. Right. That's a whole other thing. And, and my, I love that. My hope is always that afterwards, oh, this is a standing invitation for every like, so when did you become a robotic super yes. soldier? Oh, well, yeah. here's a funny story. You're planting a seed for later. Yeah. Now you want to do that in a good way, not in a bad way. Like, remember that time with all the hookers? Oh, guys, it was crazy. But anyway, <laughs> it's <Okay>. your birthday. <laughs> Avoid any mentions of, hey, this was in Mexico. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You put all the lie on your credit card to <laughs> get rid of her problem. Look, awkward roasting disclosure in the moment is almost never a good idea. Right. So I would just say outright avoid it. And remember that at most public events, regardless of the age, there are people who prefer PG and you gotta stick to that. And right? like a good YouTube video, nobody should be confused at the end. Right, not one person should say, what was that? It was either a love letter to the person, it was either a celebration of this moment, or it was a an exclamation of, hells yeah, we're doing it, you yeah. know? And those are very simple stories. Uh, a statement of uh, unity and collective effervescence. Yeah. So that one I did for you, that was my shorter, or that's my number two. Okay. My third is a short story, mark the moment and tie it together, right? And so that one's more, Look, on the occasion of Brian's brisk. finally grad brisk, yes. Yeah, so very late in life conversion. <laughs> it, keep going. Yeah. I'm, I'm I lost track because uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 I remember the, the very first time I met Brushwood, I was sitting in the back of a Russian bar restaurant invited by a guy whose business card specifically says a legitimate businessman. Gave no contact information. Gave no contact Just information. Just his name and the words legitimate businessman. And I walked into the back of a room and saw 14 strangers and sat down at the end of the table thinking And about 20 minutes in, this random guy sneaks in through the side and pulls up a chair between me and two other people of whom I was trying to have an awkward conversation with and proceeded to say, am I the only one who doesn't know anyone here? <laughs> And I was like, no, me too. And he saved my ass 
from a, a very painful, miserable night. Right? Yes. Now, since then, Ryan and I have become friends. And yet, no matter how long it's been and no matter how much time between when we hang out, Brian continues to show up in random, unexpected moments in my life and bring a little bit more magic and a little bit more safety to my social situations. And for that, I'm grateful and I hope it never ends. You just did that just now. That was good. We... I also do tend to walk into every gathering and say, am I the only one who doesn't know who any of these people are? Yeah. <laughs> Which is hard when it's a family reunion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Read the room, read the room. Yeah. My guess is that if you were to time that out, it was, what, about a minute and mm -hmm. change? Yeah, try to keep it under 60 seconds if you can. I am terrified to lean too heavy into a pre-written toast because I'm afraid somebody will know the source. Like, I, I think it was in Jaws that he says, here's to swimming with bow-legged women. women or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, those are easy and accessible, but everyone knows where they came from. You know where those are useful? In a bar where everyone's drinking and making up toasts. All right, right because on. Because at that point, it's the same as quoting your favorite movies. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's like we're all sitting around and like, oh, I remember this one. And then like four people yeah. spout lines from that uh, movie. Yeah. Then all of a sudden you're like, uh, the stuff you own ends up owning you. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. Or it's, or it's like... just, and that's literally all it is. And there's moments for those because they're fun. It's like, oh, I've heard one. I've heard a really funny one. You guys want to hear a funny one? That Who you're going to call? Yeah. yeah. No. Or okay. Remember, that? there is no spoon. <laughs> or, uh, here's to our wives and lovers. May they never meet. Yeah. You know, we've all go. heard the various voice but those are not good for truly what a toast is supposed to be for that's just a fun hangout session right what a toast is supposed to be for is marking a moment or a person if you fall back on quoting movies for lack of a better term then you should have just passed on giving the toast right you should have just said so, i that hits, that i can't hits, do that that hits close to home by yeah. the way <laughs> So I'm getting the weird feeling that you're about to give us your favorite toast. Only when you're ready to be done. I am ready to hear it, but more importantly, I want everybody who's watching at home to press pause and write their go-to favorite uh, toast. Oh, yeah. That's good. In the comments down below. Yes, yes, that, that's good. We're gonna seal them all. And by <laughs> the way, by the way, as they say, you know, good artists borrow the great, great artists, artists steal. steal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the comments will now be your fodder for that's any good. toast you ever have to give, right? Now, I will also, say- Also, smash that like and subscribe <laughs> button. Yeah. 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 In every toast, you have to say that. Yeah. In every at, toast. At Even if you end, don't have a channel. At the end of every toast, like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> so, I do have two toasts. One that's just absurd. Yeah. And I use it in very rare moments. And I'll use it at this one right now because it, it requires the perfect setup and you need to have already established the vulnerability and the genuine. And you can just sort of end something with a laugh and a light, move on. There's a toast that runs in the Whittington family. It goes back generations. I don't know if you know this, but the Whittington family dates back to the Whittington Castle even in England, right? So this is old, but it needs the right moment and the right people and the right beverage. And I think this is it. So without further ado, are you ready? Ready. Glasses up. Here's to me. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's now that a... one requires the longest buildup possible. And, and the more awkward the buildup is, the better the punch of uh, I'm great. <laughs> now, when I use that, you want to know when I use that? When everyone is giving toasts and I don't want to participate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's my Works. middle finger, Works. like sort of sly middle finger. To it. It's like everyone's like, hey, toast, toast, toast. It's your turn, Daniel. Fine, fine. And then I do it, right? yeah. because that's my easy out. All right. But any other thoughts before we conclude? <sighs> Give me a good one. All right. I stole this one blatantly. What? Why am I getting ready like you're about to throw a punch? Babe, because <laughs> he's about to blow your mind, and you well, should be prepared. You got to keep your knees bent. Oh. Be a little flexible. OK. okay. Yeah. okay. I'm just kidding. In case you screw it up and you got to run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. May those who love us love us, and may those who hate us, may God turn their hearts. And if he cannot turn their hearts, May he turn their ankles so that we may know them by their limping. Cheers. <laughs> ah, that was great. I wonder what a modern rogue cartoon would look like. Dude, this is that moment, that moment that I'll be chasing for the rest of my entire life. That moment of Saturday morning cartoons, watching my favorite cartoons, eating my favorite cereals, only I'm a grown up now, right? And raw, unrefined sugar 
kind of is awful for me and the environment and for all those things. I mean, the cartoons are better than ever, but the food is worse than ever, except for our friends over at Magic Spoon. They've got the classic flavors that you loved as a kid. We're talking zero sugar, four net carbs, 14 grams of protein, 140 calories per serving. It's the best of all worlds. These guys are screwed. There's no way they're gonna get out of it. That zero sugar matters, by the way. That means it's totally keto friendly. All of the experience of your childhood, all of the joy with virtually none of the cost. Except you do have to go right now to sign up at magicspoon.com slash rogue. Spell it right, R-O-G-U-E. When you do sign up, make sure to use promo code rogue, R-O-G-U-E. You'll get $5 off. And you'll be keeping us in business. And you'll be eating cereal and watching awesome cartoons like me. They got all your favorite flavors that I'm gonna have appear on the screen right now. Plus cookies and cream and maple waffle. Now, hold on, this is the good part. These guys are so confident. They're giving a 100% happiness guarantee. I assume that's on the cereal, not on whatever cartoon you're watching. This is a good cartoon. Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada and the UK. So all of you guys, you're in the club now. This guy. So do me a favor, click that link down below. Use that promo code ROGUE, R-O-G-U-E, and you can build your own variety pack, including all of the flavors that we discussed. There's literally too many for me to remember. I, it's, it's hard to think while I'm watching. Oh, that looks painful. Offer and link in the description below. So, yes, it's still going. It's still going, yeah. So, at what point do we put everyone else out of their misery? This, at this part in the yeah. show, the I stamp comes on and it goes, up bing, on Earth, bizarre I magic, oh, and it's oh, over. Oh, that makes sense. I put my hand upon her thigh. She said, Yankee, I'm gonna cry. Get in, get out, quit about yo ho, yo ho, yo ho. I didn't know he knew dun, this. Dun, yeah, that's a lot of words to this. Dun.